All right, so what I have here is a K7000. I have done a full reflow, rebuild, all the normal stuff. It was just a, an easy rebuild. Nothing was wrong with it. So I didn't make a video actually dedicated to the rebuild and the reflow and everything of this particular chassis because it didn't really need much other than that. So there wasn't really anything to learn that I haven't already showcased in other videos. But I wanted to use this opportunity to talk about the 50 60 hertz pot. A lot of people over the years I see have questions about, if you look at the screen here, it looks like it's collapsed. The, well, let's look here. So you can see the bottom of the screen is squished. And it's missing, you know, an inch and a half or so. And it's folded over on itself somewhat. And it's just squished. And you might think, well, it's a cap issue. But it's not. If we cycle through this, we'll get a different screen here. You can see that it's, that it's squished right there. Yeah, see the insert coins and everything, but it's not an issue of caps or anything wrong with the chassis. There's a, a little pot here, this little white pot. Get out of here, focus wire. And yeah, focus wire is in the damn way. All right, there we go. All right, so there's a little pot here. You can see there, right there above, it says 50, 60 hertz, right there, and that's what you adjust to compensate for that squished image at the bottom. So you can see here if we actually Put our driver in there and we adjust that pot watch what happens here well let's zoom out sorry and there you go see you can squish it and then squish it let's see if they can score here again yeah yep okay squish it unsquish it and sometimes it folds over on the top but you can see how it's affecting the top of the screen as well so that's what the 50 60 hertz pot does if you have an image where it's squished or, or kind of collapsed on the bottom you can see the shot clock there. Yeah, you can actually adjust that pot. Uh, there you go. And that's what this does. All I'm doing is turning, just turning this pot this back and forth. So you want to have it to where it's not collapsed on the bottom, roughly there, and it's not folding over again on the top. So right there is where we want to keep it, and it's a really good square, perfect image now. So. I wanted to show that that's what it is, that's what you do to repair that, and if you adjust that and you still have the fold over, then it might be caps, but not every problem with every monitor is bad caps. Uh, a lot of people, you know, hey, I have this problem, I have this problem, what do I do? I'll put it, time for caps, cap kit, well, that's not always the, the uh, repair, and most often it's not the repair, or not the fix is bad cap. Sometimes it is, for a good majority it can be. But I say that a lot of times replacing the caps isn't going to fix the problem. Uh, however, like I say, it does sometimes. But anyway, yeah, that's the fix for the squished bottom or the fold over on the bottom or the fold over on the top. Uh, usually it's the 50 60 hertz pot to, re to fix that issue. So I wanted to just take a quick video and a few minutes here and talk about that as a reference to people in the future because we actually get that question a lot, or I do, you know, or I see it posted a lot, you know, I got this problem. And it's always the 50 60 hertz pot that usually takes care of that. So just wanted to make a quick video and showcase that to help people out in the future. So thanks for watching. Uh, another video here coming soon. i got to rebuild another monitor. And that one's going to be interesting. So I'll, I'll get that chronicled and there will be a video shortly. So stay tuned for that. Otherwise, I appreciate it. Like, share, and subscribe if you want. And we'll see you on that one.